everyone, my name is Jaisola, I'm a fashion designer, and you are welcome to my channel! Welcome to my channel, welcome to Daisy's Wardrobe. If you're new here, welcome, and if you're an existing subscriber, welcome, welcome, welcome. I'm so happy to have you here. And if you've seen my videos before and you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do so. And put on the notification bell so that you know when I put up a new video. I'm an African inspired restaurant fashion designer based here in Lagos, Nigeria, and I've been in business for over 10 years. So, here on my channel, I talk about being a fashion designer, starting a fashion business, starting a restaurant business, all things business, all things fashion, and sometimes once in a while I talk about my life. So, here in today's video, I'm talking about if you need to know how to sew to become a successful fashion designer. So like I said, I'm an African inspired restwear fashion designer. I make my designs and I sell my designs right here in my store. And that's what I've done for over 10 years. So the question is, do I need to know how to sew to be a successful fashion designer? The thing is, the term success is different for different people. What different people attribute to success is different for everyone. And when you say a successful fashion designer, there are different things that are involved. To be a successful fashion designer, you may be wondering that, you know, do I need to know how to sew? Because there are so many fashion designers out there who have no clue whatsoever how to make clothes or who don't even make the clothes that they sell by themselves and are still doing very well. Well, we'll get to that question. We'll get to the answer to that question shortly. But I want to tell you that, um, there are different aspects, there are different ways to look at becoming a fashion designer. And success for a lot of people means different things. Success is different for everybody on every level. So a fashion designer might want to become very famous and not necessarily make a whole lot of money. Another fashion designer may attribute success to be having loads of money and not necessarily being very famous. You may have another fashion designer who just wants to make some money, decent amount of money to live a comfortable life. There are different things. So as you are looking to become a fashion designer, you have to ask yourself, what do I want? What does success look, what, what would success look like for me when I get there as a fashion designer. So I talk a lot in my videos based on my experiences of being a fashion designer for over 10 years. I talk about my first hand experience of being a fashion designer and running a fashion business till date. You know, I've seen a number of people who say, I want to become a fashion designer. I'm an illustrator or, you know, I, different things, you know, I draw very well, I sketch very well, I put patterns together very well, and this, that, 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 and the third. But the thing is, just like I said, success means different things to everybody, but there's one thing that is very, very important to know if you want to be a successful fashion designer, is that even if you don't know how to sew. It is very, very important for you to know how a garment is made thoroughly. That is the construction of a garment. Whether it is a male garment, whether it is a female garment, whatever it is, you need to know how a garment is constructed from start to finish. Because if you do not know the basics of garment construction, if you don't know the basics of how to sew or how to make a certain kind of clothing, which is the clothing that you specialize in or that you want to make. It could be anything. It could be female clothing, it could be male clothing, it could be children's clothing, it could be costumes, it could be literally anything. If you don't, If you do not know how they are being made, how they are being constructed, along the line is going to be a problem, is going to be an issue. So for example, if you say that you are very good at sketching, 
you have the most beautiful sketches when you want to communicate your designs to a tailor or to whomever is going to make these pieces for you if you do not know how to communicate your designs your sketches it is going to be a problem it is going to be a very very big problem for you it's very important to know these things you do not have to know everything like be perfect but it's very good to know a significant amount because in the long run and even sometimes in the short run it is very very helpful extremely helpful when you are knowledgeable about what it is that you are doing so you may see that there are a lot of fashion designers here in nigeria who own like ginormous fashion businesses who run big businesses and have no idea about tailoring, no idea about sewing, no idea about patterns. See, I don't know what it is either. They are lying to you that they don't know anything or they are struggling at the back end. They're being cheated. They're being run over in one type of way or the other. So it is very, very important for you to be very knowledgeable about what it is that you are doing. And you may be wondering, oh, where do I start from? Where do I go and learn? What do I this? What do I that? And another one which, you know, I start to hear very often is um, I'm getting older in age. You know, where do I start from? Will I start, you know, going to a tailoring school or sorry, a fashion school or this? or that or that the thing is you need to know what you need to put as a priority to you you need to know what exactly it is that you want if you are very very clear when you have clarity on what exactly it is you want your your clarity or your whatever it is oh, when you're clear about what you want that is going to give you enough motivation to push you forward as to how to go about learning how to sew and especially in this environment where we live in in Nigeria I don't know about other parts of the world but I know about Nigeria here where I live when you don't know how to sew or when you don't know anything about garment construction you tend to realize that when you employ people to work for you or to manufacture your clothes for you you get run over you get um, a lot of different things really I don't want to go into it in this video because it will be too long you get so much mess from people that you would never ever imagine or believe in this life so it is very important that you know about garment construction know about how a garment is made know the basics know it and know it very 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 well and if you've already started a fashion business and you don't know how to sew it's not too late you can still learn as you progress in the business so my video for today is done if you enjoyed watching my video please give me a thumbs up and subscribe and put on the notification bell so that you know when i put up a new video and so i will see you soon bye